Um, before this video starts, I just kind of want to say I'm sorry for the annoying sound. It's like the sound from my camera and I don't exactly know how to turn it off since it is for like autofocus purposes. So yeah, if you hear that really, really annoying buzzing sound throughout the video, that's that. I can't exactly edit it out, so sorry. Hey guys, it's Karen. Um, I figured I should... Okay, wait, okay. Hey guys, it's Karen, and today I'm just going to be talking about some questions that people have asked me about Case and our nursing program. I don't know why you guys want to be here, but <laughs> congratulations on making it in. I'm so sorry because of all of the quarantine stuff that you guys aren't able to come to our school, but I will be answering a couple of questions that people have DM'd me, and um, I figured it might be helpful for a couple people. Yeah, but anyways, I will like insert my Instagram handle like somewhere around here or something, so that way you guys can text me and let me know what your thoughts are. Oops, sorry, I just got a DM from a friend. But yeah, let me answer some questions that people have asked me. So, someone asked me about, let's see, academic experiences as a student. I want to study something in the realm of biology, so I probably will be taking the same classes as you. And you seem to be really knowledgeable about academic life at Case, so that's why I'm reaching out. I'm sure you're really busy with the online semester, so if you could help me out, that'd be great. So, anyways, thank you. Um, I won't say their names or anything because I feel kind of bad. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, in terms of academic life, well, I can't believe you think <laughs> that I'm knowledgeable about it, but I am pretty much only knowledgeable about their nursing classes that I have to take. And pretty much there are no overlaps between bio and nursing because unlike some schools where um, <clears throat> we just have straight nursing classes from the first year. So once you're first year, you'll take like fundamentals of nursing, anatomy, um, and this anatomy is nursing focused, not like the pre-med track anatomy. So it's a little bit different in terms of that. And then we take like chem second semester. Um, we also have like lab courses, clinicals, um, and then you'll obviously be taking like the sages, which is our like gen ed class, our writing gen ed. So I would say like, in terms of like difficulty, I don't know, I personally felt like it wasn't like super difficult just because I am, or like in high school, I went to like a STEM magnet program or whatever. <laughs> and, um, so it was pretty stressful and there was like a lot of um, just so much studying and like work and so I felt like almost in comparison case felt so much easier because I didn't I only had to focus on my schoolwork and I didn't have to have all these other like five million extracurriculars on top of what I had to do and then studying and exams like you don't have as much homework but your exams are weighted pretty heavily and so in terms of that I kind of felt like for me it felt a little bit easier in terms of that but obviously if you're not like used to a higher stress load or like a hot or heavier workload it's going to be difficult and um yeah a lot of people do struggle with that so it's good to always reach out um, to your professors or go to SI sessions or at least you have to put in the effort to be well like these grades aren't just gonna be handed to you I mean I'm sure for some people like it straight up is and like obviously but at the same time like that those are exceptions most likely you will not be the exception to the rule I mean I'm not one to like say anything but yeah most likely you won't be so just put in your best effort and you'll probably do well. What my high school academics were like, what classes I took, and preparation I had prior to attending case. So as I mentioned, high school it was pretty academically rigorous, so um, case didn't feel too bad for me in comparison. And then what classes you took, preparation you had prior to attending case. Um, I don't really like, have any preparation, I guess. Um, one thing I would suggest 
as a nursing major is maybe taking an anatomy course when you're in high school. If there's any high school seniors or juniors watching this, I would recommend taking anatomy just because it'll make your life a little bit easier when you actually have to take the course in college because you can't exactly like skip out of it either. So I would personally suggest to do anatomy. So yeah, that was one person's question. This is like another person's question. Um, also, let me change my battery because my battery's looking like it's gonna die. Okay, now I'm back. I changed my camera battery, but, um, next question is, uh, for freshman year, what was the hardest course? Do you have advice on how to prepare? Pipette? Pipette? <laughs> Do you have advice on how to prepare beforehand? So, um, as I mentioned earlier, anatomy, I would say, would be, like, the hardest course, like, famously hard, kind of, but honestly, it's not that bad. As long as you put in this effort to do well, you will do well. Do you have advice to how to prep? Yeah, as I mentioned, it might be good for you to take anatomy in high school. I took, um, bio, IB, HL, and that was basically anatomy like pretty similar actually to the course that I took in college but maybe a little bit more in depth than the nursing anatomy course that I had to take so I think that would be a really helpful course is if you already took anatomy in high school so that way you're prepared but like if you didn't fine you can probably just like prepare over the summer and kind of get to know um, all of the different organ systems and bones because it's a lot of memorization, but it's not just memorization. And what was your first clinical like? So for your first clinical, you're actually mostly just doing orientation stuff. So as like the semester keeps on going, you're obviously going to be practicing all the skills that you're learning in lab. So I would say like the lab, um, like obviously you're going to start off with really, really basic stuff such as like hand washing or like putting on proper PPE and um, how to take blood pressure so stuff like that so honestly that in itself is not difficult and so basically the whole point of like the first year of clinicals isn't really to like practice your skills but it's more like how can I better my interpersonal communication with patients kind of deal so like how to go into patients rooms and like talk with them get to know them um, how can I further develop my understanding as our understanding of my role as a nurse yeah so that's kind of how I see first year clinicals to be like and uh, for the last question, she asks, is there really an um, overwhelming amount of work slash studying because I've heard some ma people switch majors because of it? The answer is yes to people switching. Honestly, I kind of feel like this, I mean, obviously all of these responses are from my point of view, but <clears throat> I feel like it's not that it's like super overwhelming. It's just maybe if I managed my time a little bit better, it probably would be a little bit easier. And yes, it can be overwhelming for a lot of people, and so that's why they switch, or they're having a really difficult time, or their mental health isn't the best because of all of the stress put on as a nursing student. So yeah, I'm not going to like lie to you and be like, oh yeah, this is the easiest time and you're gonna pass no problem um but yeah I think that like as long as you put in the effort you manage your time wisely and you you figure out how to study efficiently in a way that works for you you'll be fine so that's how I feel but um yeah so, let's see, and then finally this is like kind of social life questions, so someone asked me about the social life at crew and how he's heard that many crew students aren't very social. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of true in a sense. Obviously, like, we're not, we're not a public school, school. Obviously, I can't speak right now, but, <clears throat> yeah, we're not a public school, so there's not going to be as many people, and we're not a huge party school as well, so if you're thinking about coming to Case, and you want that, like, party experience, Case most likely won't be the biggest or like I wouldn't say you should come to case if that's one of your like big draws. But um I feel like you shouldn't just discount case because of that. Yeah. Like if you're looking for a social life or having fun, I know a lot of people in Greek life. Greek life seems like it's such a good time and everyone who's in Greek life seems to really enjoy it. And it's not as really hyped as um other schools, it's pretty low key, and everyone I know in Greek life is super chill, and they don't, and <coughs> you just need to find your group. <coughs> yeah, you just need to find your group, and you'll probably have a good time. Uh, and then another question was, are there clubs and events occurring on campus? Is it difficult to make friends at crew? I heard that a lot of students aren't very social. That's why I'm concerned about social life. Well, I personally, I don't go to that many club events unless um, there's free food, but I do think that, yeah, there's a lot of like club events that you can go to, and um, students aren't like super social, you do have to put in the effort to like get to know people, but personally for me, I feel like I'm pretty extroverted, so I don't really have a difficult time making friends, um, but yeah, just like, it really depends on your personality type, I guess, and uh, I'm sure if you join more clubs, you'll have a diverse friend group because I know a lot of people who are really into clubs, uh, organizations, they find their best friends in whatever club that they're in or they go for exec board and that's where they find their closest group of friends. So I would suggest joining a club so that way you can get to know more people and get involved. It's really important to be involved, I think. So yeah. Sorry, I don't really know too much about clubs because like the only organization I'm in is like the undergraduate student government. Hopefully that'll answer your question though. How are the professors at crew? So back to academics I guess. Um, I personally feel like, you know, sometimes our professors are really on something. I don't know what they're on, but it's something. And um, it can be a doozy, but like I feel like most of the time the professors do care about the students. And if you reach out to them, they normally do respond really quickly. But also, I am talking about this, like, the nursing school's professors, FPD, so I can't really talk about any of the other schools to catch my drift. I feel like for at least FPD, the professors, they can be wild ones. And, uh, you know, they might not be the best teaching due to the fact that they've been a nurse for so long and then they went into teaching so it could be that they're um just not accustomed to having to teach personally so whatever i mean there's some good professors i think the anatomy professor is really good i also like really like your social professor she's great too so yeah there are understanding professors and i feel like most of them are pretty understanding so um yeah i feel like they're pretty approachable if you need them to be. So. so another question is like, are they also good at teaching their subjects? Are they reachable outside the classroom? Uh, are they good at teaching their subjects? You know, I would rate them like a 7 out of 10. They're not, obviously they're not perfect, but you know the effort is there. Yeah. And are they reachable outside the classroom? Yes, I feel like they're pretty reachable. I've text or not texted them. I've emailed them plenty of times late at night, and uh, I normally do get a response at least by the next day or the next morning. So yeah, I feel like those are all the questions asked, and so hopefully that will have been informative. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope these questions were helpful. If you like want to know more about my experiences, or if you actually want to just straight up reach me but reach out to me um i'll see you guys in the next video or maybe i should do like a pop series or something 
don't know, but I just like it. Bye guys, I'll see you guys later.